Hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com. My name is Jason Newland. This is relaxation, hypnosis, stress, anxiety, panic attacks. Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes. And this is going to be a kind of a technique, a short technique. Um, so you don't have to have complete silence. You don't even necessarily have to close your eyes, but you might find it easier to do so, uh, to do it whilst your eyes are closed, because it's about getting in touch with feelings. There may be some <laughs> background sounds because Andre is in the bedroom trying to get out. So I put him in there just to keep him a little bit quiet, but I can't always have... Well, as you know, if you listen to my recordings, he's sometimes around, and uh, that's just how it is. He lives here, so, you know, I'm his lodger. That's Andre the Ferret. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a ferret's lodger. So this technique is actually really powerful. And it's about... Well, let's just do it and see how you feel. Okay? I suppose I'm not going to do an introduction to what it is or what my aim is around this relaxation technique. And although it is about relaxation, it's not just about that. It's also to do with moving away from judgment, self-judgment that is. Moving away from blaming yourself or, uh, for example, myself when I was in the past, when I had really, really, really bad anxiety. I had no one else to blame but myself not realising at the time that I didn't need anyone to blame. It wasn't a blame situation. But being brought up in a society where blame is very popular, and I'm not sure if that's the case where you live, but, you know, I've been brought up from day, day one with that mentality of blaming other people or taking the blame myself. As I got older, educated, I'm trying to move away from that type of thinking because it's unhealthy. You know, it's, it's, it's good to learn from mistakes and to make changes and to even maybe not feel guilty because I don't think guilt's a good thing either, but to definitely acknowledge you know, if we've done something that's hurt another person, to acknowledge it and to, you know, decide not to do it again and to feel sorrow or to feel, you know, emotions but at the same time, not to, not to sort of let it fester. So this isn't really about that, but it's about focusing by focusing on what we're going to focus on. And there's a big gap where I don't say anything. It's, it's about you just see how you feel, experience how you experience. And see, feel, the way you feel when you do this. It may sound a bit vague, but I think it's, it's this might be useful in order for you to not only change how you feel then, but also to you know remove some of that judgment, some of that blame, you know, giving yourself a hard time which is never useful.
which goes back to what I say at the end of each recording, be kind to yourself. So, unlike what I normally do, I won't wobble on for hours before I actually get to the point. I'm going to go straight into the, the technique or the exercise, whatever you want to call that. So, ideally, I mean, you can do this lying down, but you might fall asleep. My, my boring voice might send you to sleep. So, my... Uh, the optimal position would be sitting in, in a comfortable chair which has armrests so that if you did fall asleep you didn't fall out of the chair and so that your feet can touch the floor make sure that you're not wearing anything too constrictive so if you've got tight trousers on or a belt or something and you feel it pressing against your stomach just undo the belt or undo the trousers yes it's, it's about comfort and if you've got a tight, restrictive top on, maybe take the tight, take it off. And if it's too cold to not have a top on, just put something on that's a bit baggier. Now just, you know, this isn't a fashion show. Now, it doesn't matter what background sounds there are because it's not relevant. This is about you. This is about how you feel. Because background sounds don't affect how we feel. It might affect how we feel, but it's not going to... It doesn't stop us from experiencing how we feel. Apart from maybe... I don't know. If, if, a, if you suddenly heard someone in the back garden saying, I found some gold. I found some gold bullion. And, you know... It may take your mind off of how you were feeling about yourself in that moment. It's a distraction. Especially when you're down there digging. You're focusing on that gold. So if you, you know, just don't have to relax your body. Your body, you probably feel more relaxed anyway. I've been talking for seven minutes. You probably calm down a bit and be curious about what we're going to do today I'm a little bit curious as well because I've got no idea <laughs> no I do, I do so all I'm going to ask you to do first of all focus on how you feel focus on your stress levels, focus on uh, whether there's depression there, whether there's you know, anxiety levels, whatever is going on with you right now Just notice how you're feeling and maybe give a gauge of, you know, one to ten. Ten being the worst you can feel, one being you know, pretty much nothing. And what would you give your stress levels at the moment? Or anxiety levels at the moment between one and ten? And just, you can just, you know, almost see it in your eye and you can just remember the number. It's not a test, you're not going to, there's no exam at the end of it. It's just for your own, for yourself to notice. So now, you can wipe that away, that's not important anymore. I want you to focus on one person in your life who you love. Now, I'm not necessarily talking about romantic love, um, not even talking about human love. It could be your pet. It could, for me, it would be Andre, my ferret. And somebody, a person, uh, or you know, an animal that you just absolutely love, like you know, you almost unconditional. And it doesn't matter who the person is. It might even be someone you've never met. You know, you might have huge love for a an actor or a film star or a, you know a musician or your favourite pop artist. 
you know it could be that kind of it's someone that you just like wow you just really really are into them could be your favourite hypnotist you know so think of that person so whether it's your parents your children grandchildren your husband wife spouse best friend niece you know whoever it is pet your dog your cat your ferret your snake your whatever ostrich it doesn't matter you might have a parrot you might have a goldfish or you know tropical fish it might even be a tree or a plant or a flower or something that you've created that you just love you really love it, it might be you know so it doesn't matter it doesn't have to necessarily even be a person but it has to arise or arise from thinking about that person there needs to be that love that feeling of love that's directed at that person that object of your affection and I just want you to focus on that person or that object of your affection and get in touch with those feelings of love those feelings of maybe you do absolutely anything for that person you really do just love them with everything you've got you feel so good when you think about them uh, when you when you really get in touch with that feeling it's almost it's really powerful it's a really powerful feeling and you feel good when you feel that way it brightens up your mind brightens up your life brightens up your body and as you focus on that person that object of your love your kindness your generosity I want you to now imagine that, that person holds up a mirror big mirror and reflects that love back at you reflects it back at you and you start to receive it receive what you were given and as you focus on that notice how it feels as that love fills your body and your mind and your brain and every atom within your bones your muscles your skin every hair on your body filled with that love all your internal organs your eyes your mouth your ears chest, stomach, back, legs, feet, hands, toes, fingers, your lungs, your heart, filled with that love. Just let it sink in. Let it soak deep, deep into you, into every morsel of your body, every part of your brain, completely filling you up. And you can feel that when you breathe, you breathe in more of that love. 
And when you breathe out, you also breathe out that love. Knowing that it's going to come back. It's almost when you breathe out, you're breathing the love out. Making that path. Which is your future. A pathway for your future made with your out breath. Breathing in more of that deep, deep love. And I'm going to count from one to three, and then I'll ask you to open your eyes. One, two, three. Open your eyes. Noticing how you feel, and then going back to that, that measurement, and see what stress level you are now, compared to what you were before. Notice how, how much it's reduced. Maybe it's just gone altogether. Maybe you can't even find it. It's almost disappeared. The graph, the chart that was in your mind has just vanished. Because it doesn't fit with how you're feeling now. And you can do this as often as you like. Whenever you like. Of course only do it when you can safely close your eyes. But you can do a short version of this. When you're sitting on a train. Sitting on a bus. Even sitting on a toilet. Just giving yourself a few minutes. Where you can fill yourself with that love. It's being sent back to you from that object of your affection. It's being reflected back with that mirror. And you get to experience Self-love. Feeling calmer, more relaxed, peaceful. It's a lovely feeling. And that is the end of this recording. So thank you for listening. Remember to be kind to yourself because you deserve to be happy. Lots of love. Bye.